welcome uh, again to this room. And uh, today we have Anna Gallo, which will, which will be talking about me metastability for the POTS and Heising model with zero and non-zero external magnetic field evolving under Glauber dynamics. And that's why I want to remember that. Uh, good morning. I am Anna, and I come here today to Florence. My talk is focused on metastability for the pot and models with a non-zero external magnetic field evolving under the global dynamics. The phenomenon of, the phenomenon of metastability occurs in a physical system that is the next to first order phase transition, and uh, it occurs in a physical system that is uh, trapped for a long, a long time in an equilibrium point of the energy landscape until after some random fluctuations and variation of the physical parameters, the system realizes a sudden transition from the metastable state to the stable, to the stable state. A metastable state is a local minimum of the Hamiltonian of the system that has a maximum depth among all the local minima, while a stable state is a global minimum of the energy function. When one studies metastability in uh, mass and more precisely in uh, probability, there are three main issues that are investigated. The first one is the study of the typical transition time from the metastable to the stable state. The second issue is the geometrical characterization of the set of the physical configurations, that is, uh, the set of those configurations that has to be crossed at least one time with a probability 10 to 1 in order to complete the transition from the stable to the stable state. The last issue is the uh, geometrical characterization of the few of, of capital trajectories, that is a subset of configurations that belong to those uh, trajectories that are followed by a process with probability 10 to 1 um, in order to realize the transition from the stable to the stable state. Uh, sometimes uh, an energy landscape could have uh, many stable states. Uh, in these cases, the same three issues are studied for the so-called tunneling transitions, that are the transitions from uh, a stable state to another stable state. Uh, as, I anticipated, as I anticipated in the title of my talk, uh, we focus on the metastable behavior and the tunneling behavior for the Q-state pot model. The POST model is a spin system, is a spin model, and we study this model on a bidimensional rectangular grid graph lambda with periodic boundary conditions. So we identify the sides of uh, the grid graph having the same length in such a way that lambda turns out to be a bidimensional torus. Let S the set of the spin values. We define X the set of all the POST configurations where uh, any pot configuration sigma is defined by associating to each uh, vertex of the grid graph lambda a spin value. For instance, in this figure there is an example of pot configuration in which uh, there is a correspondence between uh, the numerical spin values and uh, the colors. More precisely, we study the model in a low temperature asymptotic regime, so we study the model in the limit beta goes to infinity, where beta is defined as the inverse of the temperature. To any pot configuration sigma, we associate an energy value. Uh, note that the value of the energy, H of sigma, depends on two terms. The first term is uh, related to the um, local interactions between any vertex and its uh, four ne uh, nearest neighbors on the grid graph, while the second term is uh, related to the external magnetic field. Note that uh, the presence of the external magnetic field depends only on the presence of a single spin value that we choose uh, without loss of generality equal to 1. Uh, we set j equal to 1 and study the ferromagnetic POTS model. Mm, furthermore, we assume that the constant related to the external magnetic field assumes a value between 0 and 1, and we define three different scenarios that differ from each other by the definition of the external magnetic field. And these three scenarios are the q post model with the negative external magnetic field, the q post model with positive external magnetic field, and the q post model with zero external magnetic field. In all the three scenarios, the evolution of the system is described by um, a stochastic dynamics, that is the global type, as it is a global type dynamics. This uh, dynamics uh, is uh, described using a Markov chain defined on the state space X, 
we need a transition of probabilities as in equation two. So the probability to go from the population sigma to the population sigma prime depends on the value of this uh, connectivity matrix Q and uh, on the uh, energy difference between the um, final configuration sigma time and the energy of uh, the initial configuration sigma. Uh, the result in the stochastic dynamics uh, turns out to be uh, reversible with respect to the Gibbs measure. That is uh, the stationary distribution of the stochastic process. Uh, any step of uh, the dynamics uh, may be described also using the metropolis algorithm. So, at any step, a vertex D and a spin value S are selected independently and, and uniformly at random. Then uh, the spin uh, in, on the vertex D is updated to S with probability 1, where the energy difference between the new configuration and the initial one is lower than or equal to 0. The probability is strictly positive when the same energy difference is strictly positive. So, uh, in order to mm, give you some of our main results, uh, let's start to consider some definitions. First of all, I'll give you some model independent definitions. So, they are definitions that are given in metastability for any model. We call path a final sequence of configurations and uh, um, two adjacent configurations along the path differ um, only by a single uh, spin flip. Uh, for any pair of configurations sigma and theta, we call uh, energy, communication energy between sigma and theta the minimum maximum energy value that has to be reached in order to realize the transition from sigma to theta. And among all the paths that realize the transition from sigma to theta, we call optimal path a path that uh, uh, reaches as the maximum energy value exactly the communication energy between sigma and theta. Then for any configuration sigma and for any non-empty subset A, we uh, set gamma sigma A, the energy difference between the communication energy between sigma and the set A, minus the energy of sigma. For any configuration sigma, we define its stability level, that is the energy barrier V sigma, defined as the energy difference between the, between sigma and the set of configurations that have uh, energy strictly lower than uh, the energy of sigma minus the energy of sigma. The definition of stability level turns out to be crucial in order to uh, introduce the formal definition of a metastable state. Indeed, the set of metastable configurations contains um, those states that have a maximum stability level among all the um, configurations of the energy landscape different from the global minima of the Hamiltonian. So, uh, in order to hide the, the imagination, we, we, we can think a, um, a metastable state as the worst uh, starting point from which uh, the process uh, um, can start uh, the, the transition to the set of the global minima. And this worst uh, comes from um, um, the, the starting from the metastable state, the process has to overcome the maximum energy barrier. The last definitions that I uh, introduced, uh, model independent, are the following one. For any pair of configurations sigma and sigma prime, we define the set of minimal centers between sigma and sigma prime. Uh, the set of those configurations that belong uh, at least to a one optimal path between sigma and sigma prime, and uh, uh, these configurations as energy equal to the communication energy between sigma and sigma prime. For any sigma and sigma prime, we define WB sigma sigma prime as a gate if this set is a subset of uh, the um, uh, minimal settles between sigma and sigma prime. And, that, and if this set is uh, intersected by every optimal path between sigma and sigma prime. Uh, among all the gates between uh, sigma and sigma prime, we call minimal gate uh, a minimal by inclusion subset of the minimal settles. And uh, we call G sigma sigma prime the union of all the minimal gates. Uh, at the beginning, I uh, introduced you the second issue of metastability, that was the geometric identification of the critical configurations. 
And this issue is the geometrical characterizations of all the configurations that belong to this sector. Uh, for any population stigma, for any uh, non-empty subset A, we define uh, this receptor that uh, we call uh, initial cycle uh, related to the transition from sigma to A. And um, this, set, this set contains two configurations that have uh, uh, communication energy with respect, with respect to sigma that is strictly lower than the communication energy between sigma and the target A. So the initial cycle contains is um, the set of two configurations um, from which the process has to go out at a certain point in order to realize the transition from sigma to A. Then for any sigma and for any empty target A, uh, we define tau sigma A, the first, uh, the first in time of the subset A, for the Markov chain, that is started at the time zero in the sigma. The last definitions that I introduced are model dependent definitions. So uh, they are definitions that depend on the post model. We call uh, R with a bar ABRS the set of the configurations in which uh, all the spins uh, have spin bar equal to R, except those that are S, in a rectangle A per B. Why we define B with a bar L, A, B, R, S, the set of those configurations in which all the vertices have spin value equal to R, except those that are S, in a rectangle uh, with side lengths A and B, with a bar of length L on one of the sides of length B. Then, using the same uh, geometrical definitions, we define these sets L with tilde A, B, R, S, B with tilde L, A, B, R, S. And the only difference between the, different, the definition of these sets and the definition of these sets uh, is uh, the role of spins uh, L and S that are uh, interchangeable. So uh, let's start to consider some of uh, our main results. Uh, first of all, we focus on the Q-Pot model uh, with a negative external magnetic field. In the negative case, the Newtonian assumes the following explicit expression. And uh, by simple uh, algebraic calculations, we prove that the energy landscape has Q minus one uh, stable states. So the Newtonian Akaneg has Q minus one global minima that are given by those configurations in which all the vertices have the same spin value for a spin value be between two and Q. Uh, so these configurations is, uh, are called monochromatic or uniform. Then we prove that the energy landscape has only one state, uh, that is the uniform configuration one, uh, and we compute the exact value of the um, stability level of this uh, metastable state. Note that the value of this energy value depends uh, on this um, quantity, L star, uh, that is the so-called critical length. In this figure, there is uh, an example of the energy landscape uh, when Q is equal to 4. Uh, this is a simplified picture of the energy landscape. Uh, this is the energy landscape cut at the energy level given by the communication energy between the metastable state and the set of the stable configurations. This energy, green energy barrier is the stability level of the metastable state and uh, it is also the depth of the initial cycle related to the transition from the metastable state to the set of the stable configurations. While this uh, level, that is uh, gray, <laughs> is uh, at uh, the communication energy between a stable state and the set of the other stable configurations. Uh, in the following theory, we will prove uh, that uh, the communication energy between uh, the stable state and the set of the stable configurations is strictly larger than uh, the communication energy between a stable state and the set of the other stable configurations. And in the same theory, we also prove uh, that this uh, green energy barrier, that is uh, the uh, minimum energy barrier that, that um, has to be overcome in order to realize the transition from one to a stable state or to the set of stable configurations, is strictly smaller than this red energy barrier, that is the minimum energy barrier that has to be reached in order to realize the transition from a stable state to another stable state of the energy landscape. Using these model-dependent results and exploiting some model-independent results given in literature, we succeeded to give an answer to the first issue of metastability. 
Uh, more precisely, in item A, C, and D, we give a, a, a result in the probability, in expectation, and distribution for the first meeting time to the set of the stable configurations starting from the metastable state. In item E, we, give, uh, we compute the exponent of the mixing time, and we also compute a lower and upper bound for the spectral gap, that is this called zero di vita, that is strictly related to the eigenvalues of the um, transition probabilities matrix. Finally, in item B, we give uh, um, an, uh, an explanation in probability of the first lifting time to a fixed stable state S starting from the metastable state. The, um, Mm, the particularity of this item, the, of this result, is that the, in the exponents in the lower and the upper bound are different from each other. This is because uh, when the system realizes the transition from the metastable state to a fixed stable state S, it um, could follow a path that uh, does not intercept other stable state of energy landscape before hitting the target S or mm, it um, could follow a path that visits uh, at least another stable state of the energy landscape different from the target one. So more precisely, with the probability strictly positive, the process um, realizes the transition from one to S following the path omega as in case A that uh, does not visit other stable configurations of the energy landscape. And in this case, uh, this green energy barrier that is the depth of the initial cycle of the transition from one to the stable states, uh, is uh, both the maximum and the minimum energy barrier that the process has to uh, overcome in order to realize the transition. Mm, but with the probability strictly positive, in particular with probabilities q minus 2 over q minus 1, the process follows the path omega is in B that goes from 1 to S visiting at least another stable state of the energy landscape. In these cases, the, in this case, the green energy barrier is the, the minimum energy barrier that it, it has to be overcome, while the maximum energy barrier that has to be overcome in order to complete the transition is the red one. In the negative scenario, we also identify the uh, set of the critical configurations uh, for both the transition from the metastable state to the set of the stable configurations and also for the transition from uh, the metastable state to a fixed stable state. Um, in both cases, the union of minimal gates contains two configurations in which all the spins are equal to one except those that are different from one in the so-called critical droplet that uh, is a uh, quasi-square uh, L star minus one with another side of length L star with a unit protuberance of one of the longer sides. And uh, note that we have to consider this union because starting from the metastable state, we, um, we don't know what is the first stable state that is visited by the process among all the possible stable states of the energy landscape. So let's now consider the positive scenario. In the positive scenario, the Newtonian has the following explicit expression, and we prove that the energy landscape has only one stable state given by the uniform configuration one. In this case, we prove that the energy landscape has q minus one metastable configurations given by uh, the uniform configurations in which all the vertices have the same spin value, so a spin value will be equal to. Also in the positive case, we compute the value of the um, stability level of any metastable configuration and, uh, configuration, and also in this case, uh, the, the value of the stability level depends on this quantity of the star, so the critical length. In this figure, there is, a, uh, there is uh, an example of the energy landscape for the positive scenario when Q is equal to 4. Also in this case, uh, this is a uh, simplified version of the energy landscape. Indeed, uh, this the energy landscape cut the energy level given by the communication height between the metastable, uh, metastable state and the stable configuration. Um, using this uh, model dependent result, we succeed to answer to the first issue of metastability. So, in this theorem, in item A and B, uh, we give uh, um, 
uh, regard to probability and an expectation for the phase between time to the stable state, starting from any metastable configuration of the energy transcript. Uh, while in FNC we compute an exponent for the mixing time and compute a lower and upper bound for the spectral gap. Regarding the, um, the result on the asymptotic scale distribution, uh, while in the negative scenario we um, gave this result uh, for the transition from the metastable state to the stable state, in this case we give the asymptotic scale distribution for of the phase in time from a metastable state to this step G, that is defined as the complementary in the energy landscape of the initial cycle for the transition from M, the fixed metastable state, to the set of the stable configurations. And um, using, this, uh, uh, using this target, we succeed to prove this uh, uh, result. Um, okay. Also in the positive scenario, we, we, we geometrically identify the union of all the minimal gates related to, to the metastable transition from any metastable state to the uh, unique stable configuration of the energy landscape. Also in this case, um, a, a critical configuration is given by a state in which all the vertices have spin value equal to M, uh, except those that are one in uh, this uh, critical droplet that, are, that, has, that is a um, quasi square uh, L star minus one L star with a unit protuberance of one of the longest side. So finally, let's, uh, let us consider the uh, scenario of the Cubot model with zero external magnetic field. In this case, the Newtonian uh, assumes the following expression so the value of the energy of any configuration schema depends only on the local interactions between uh, any vertex and its uh, nearest neighbors on the grid graph. Uh, we prove that uh, the energy landscape has uh, few uh, stable states uh, given by all the possible uh, uniform configurations. And uh, since we prove that the energy landscape has not uh, mm, any interesting uh, stable state, so the Newtonian at zero has not uh, mm, local minima with uh, uh, an interesting depth. In this case, uh, we study the tunneling transition, so the transitions between stable states. More precisely, we study three different tunneling transitions. First of all, we uh, focus on uh, the so-called restricted transition from a stable state to another stable state. Uh, under the constraints, we follow a path that does not visit other stable configurations of the energy landscape. Then we study mm, other two uh, transitions. Uh, first, we study transitions from a stable state to the set of the other stable configurations. Then we study transition from stable state to another stable state that is fixed, and this time without constraint. Since the resulting on the tunneling time was, uh, um, was given in literature, by Nardizoka in 2019. For this scenario, we answer to the uh, second and third issue of metastability. So we geometrically identify the union of all the minimal gates for all the three tunneling transitions. And for all the three tunneling transitions, we identify geometrically the few of the graphical trajectories. First of all, uh, let us consider the restricted transition. So I recall that uh, we want to go from R, that is a stable state, to S. Uh, without intersecting other stable configurations of the energy landscape. Uh, we prove that with probability n to 1, in the limit uh, beta goes to infinity, uh, the process uh, mm, realizes this uh, transition, um, realizes this transition after visiting a configuration in which all the vertices uh, are white, so are R, and uh, except those that are gray, so S, in a, uh, in a strip of thickness 2, so in two adjacent columns. And in order to visit uh, a configuration like this one, uh, we prove that the process before visit, visit these uh, steps, H with a bar at S, Q with a bar with S, in which uh, um, uh, the, um, the configurations have all the vertices equal to R, uh, or, see, the spin value is equal to R, except those that are S in two adjacent columns that are not yet completed. Then the process visits uh, these sets uh, with probability n to 1, T with a bar RS, 
in which all uh, in which the configuration cell always been equal to R except to the that S in a column with a bar of length k minus one on one of the vertical side. So it is um, this set contains two configurations that uh, communicate by one step of the dynamics uh, with a configuration in which uh, there is this uh, strip of thickness 2 full of skins uh, S. Then the process with probability tending to 1 visits this set v, uh, WVJRS in which uh, there are those configurations in which all the vertices are R except those that are S um, contained in a strip of thickness J, so in J um, adjacent columns, with a bar length L for L that goes from 1 to k minus 1 on one of the vertical side. The sets Q with a bar, H with a bar, and T with a bar are situated next to the initial cycle, so to the cycle of the initial stable state R. The sets WBJ are situated in the middle of the energy landscape between R and S, while the sets Q with a tilde, RH with a tilde, and P with a tilde are next to the final cycle, so, so to the uh, cycle of the target. And I recall that the sets with tilde has the, have the same geometrical definition of the sets with a bar, um, with the only difference that the role of the spin R and S are interchanged. And uh, this is possible because the model is uh, symmetric on the new graph lambda. All the sets that I um, have just introduced complete the description of the union of all the minimal restricted gates for the transition from a stable state R to another stable state S. Um, and then we uh, use this result related to the restricted transition in order to um, identify the union of the all minimal gates for the other two types of transition. First of all, we focus on the transition from a stable state to the set of the other stable configurations. Uh, let us consider this uh, figure, and uh, we, mm, let us consider the transition from one, that is uh, the orange configuration, to the set of the other stable state. Starting from one, so from this orange configuration, the process um, could, uh, mm, realize, could realize the strip, the strip of thickness 2 um, of color red, blue, green, or yellow with the same probability, that is 1 over q minus 1. So starting from 1, with the same probability, the process arrives in excess 0 minus 1 in one of the, all the possible stable states. So we conclude that uh, the union of all the minimal gates for the transition from a stable state to the set of the other stable configurations is given by uh, the union of all the mm, restricted minimal gates uh, related to the transition from R, that is the stable state uh, that is fixed, to T, where T is uh, any possible uh, stable state of the energy state different from R. Regarding the transition from a stable state to another fixed stable state, let us consider again this figure. Uh, starting from one, the process uh, um, mm, arrives in the configuration two, follow, following uh, with probability strictly positive, a path omega that uh, goes from one to two without visiting other stable states of the energy landscape, but with the probability strictly positive, the process uh, uh, could follow also a path omega that goes from 1 to 2, visiting at least another stable state of the energy landscape. So, if uh, we consider this, uh, um, possible trans this, path, this possible path, uh, we conclude that uh, when we um, geometrically identify the union of all minimal gates for this transition, we have to consider all the minimal restricted gates that the process intercepts when uh, it leaves one and arrives for the first time in the set of the other stable configurations. And we have also to consider the union of all the minimal restricted gates that start in um, any stable state of the energy landscape and that uh, arrive in two. So the union of all the minimal restricted gates for the transition from a stable state R to another stable state S without constraints I give my view to unions. 
finally, le task consider the results on the few of the capital trajectories. Uh, le task consider again the restricted transition from a stable state R to the stable state S. And I recall that with the restricted transition, we mean that we consider this transition following a path that uh, does not feed the other stable state of the energy landscape. Um, all the configurations that belong to this uh, um, bridge uh, belong to the, tra to the capital trajectories. In order to complete the, the geometrical characterization of the typical trajectories that are followed by the process, uh, we have to um, geometrically identify the configurations uh, that the process uh, visits uh, in order to go from R to H to the bar RS, so that is on the boundary of the initial cycle, and all the configurations that the process visits in order to um, go from H to the tilde RS to S. Our strategy is the following one. We describe the um, descent from H to the bar RS to R, then we exploit the reversibility of, of the model and we obtain the uh, characterization of the configurations uh, that belong to the capital trajectories that go from R to H to the bar S. Then we exploit the uh, symmetry of the model on lambda to obtain also the uh, geometrical characterization of the configurations that the process visits uh, with probability 10 to 1 in order to go from H to the tilde to S. We describe the descent from H to the bar RS, that is a subset of this K bar with uh, RS, uh, to R. Uh, using uh, a succession of uh, extended cycles that are represented by these uh, white rectangles. Uh, an extended cycle is uh, a plateau, so it is a set of configurations that have the same energy value and that communicate by one step of the dynamic. We identify geometrically all these uh, white rectangles, so all the, uh, the extended cycles, and we uh, prove um, what are uh, the uh, extended cycles that communicate with the arrows and the cycles. So uh, the arrows indicate this uh, communication. Finally, we obtain uh, the geometrical uh, description of the restricted cube of cycle trajectories, um, considering all the configurations that belong to the to the to that object that I call the bridge with uh, the configurations that belong uh, to, the, to the extended cycles. And uh, using uh, a modern independent result of the Nazi Dr. Post uh, uh, of uh, 2016, we prove that the probability to visit a configuration that, that does not belong to this uh, set uh, in order to realize the, trans the restricted transition from R to S is exponentially small. Regarding the cube of the capital trajectories from uh, a stable state to the set of the other stable states, uh, we use the same strategy of uh, the game. So we exploit the result uh, on, of the restricted case, uh, and we obtain that the cube of the capital paths for the transition from a stable state to the other stable states uh, is given by the union of all the uh, possible restricted cube of capital trajectories uh, from R, that is the fixed stable state, uh, to T, where T is uh, any stable state of the energy landscape different from R. Uh, finally, regarding the cube of the capital trajectories from uh, a stable state R to another fixed stable state S, this time without uh, constraint, this cube is given by the union of the union of all the possible um, uh, restricted cube of capital trajectories uh, from R to T, where T is any stable state of the energy landscape different from R. Then we have to consider also all the um, Tactical trajectories, so the restricted tactical trajectories, from uh, between an, a pair of, configu of uh, stable configurations different from both R and S. Then the, the, tactical, uh, the cube of tactical trajectories contains also those uh, trajectories, those tactical restricted trajectories that goes that go from um, uh, T prime, that is the n stable state different to uh, different from S to S. And also in this case, we prove that the probability to build the configuration uh, that it does not belong to the cube is exponentially small. Thank you very much.
press them on the floor. Okay, we have two of them. We put one together. Can you return at the theorem for one? Because I have one, I will do it later. And now we, I think we shall proceed. Thank you again. Thank you. 